What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about a little Rocksteady news, and it actually came from Twitter, uh, from Timur222. He is really actually very good at finding, basically, a history of developers and, you know, what they're up to, and today's target was Rocksteady in a good way. This is not, like, a negative type thing. And, uh, well, look, the, the main thing to talk about here is they have an unannounced project that started back in June of 2024. You see a senior systems programmer who is been with Rocksteady not not a full year yet almost a full year right November of 2023 and it says right there tech team on an unannounced project for June of 2024 through now and you can see what his past job was which was the network team on Suicide Squad doing a bunch of kind of behind the scenes type things uh, these are the kind of people that really make these games go even games that people aren't uh, you know a big fan of it's always kind of interesting to see all the different kind of smaller things or things that I guess you wouldn't really think of um, that people like this every day slaving away at the Rocksteady office so all right I mean the main info there is they are making a new game and they're making that game as of June of 2024 now there's kind of two things to talk about one is the Hogwarts Legacy director's cut right because the last we've heard uh unofficially I guess right but it's through Jason Schreier so it, I mean it's, it's probably pretty accurate the last time he talked about Rocksteady he talked about how Basically, they'll be allowed a second chance. And now, th that is actually what I think this is. This is, in my opinion, this is their next big game. Okay, I'm, I'm kind of jumping ahead of myself, but I think this is their next full on, you know, full scale kind of game. Uh, again, though, he did mention that Rocksteady, kind of for the time being, at least a few months ago, they were helping on uh, Hogwarts Legacy's director's cut, right? We still haven't heard about that yet, so we got, we uh, hopefully we hear about it like within the next uh, couple months because we're actually about like a year and a half after Hogwarts. I feel it's actually kind of too late to do a director's cut, but I guess we'll, we'll probably end up getting it again. And when Shire says something, he's normally pretty accurate. So you could argue, and I've seen this, this is again why I wanted to kind of bring this up in this video, um, is this game that's you know on this job? Th I mean, I, I don't even know if you want to say job thing, right? It's it's, uh, it's his experience working there. Is it Hogwarts Legacy's director's cut? I actually, again, think no. Um, I think, you know, normally, as you've seen, like if you actually watch the uh, the end credits, right, for any of these games, they kind of all help each other. There, There's some that help more than, than others, right? Like if you, when you beat Hogwarts Legacy, right, or maybe you've already beaten Hogwarts Legacy, people at Rocksteady actually worked on it. Now, not like a ton, but some of them. Um, and the number one, though, is WB Montreal. WB Montreal seemingly is not, I mean, I don't want to call them a support team, but they are probably the most supportive of all of the teams that WB has. Uh, again, if you look at Hogwarts Legacy, there's like 40, 50 people from WB Montreal that helped on Hogwarts Legacy. And uh, there's actually employees that worked on, I think, Gotham Knights that are working right now on Monolith uh, with Wonder Woman. So, and you could see it like in their job uh, pages. So, you know, to that point, like Rocksteady probably has something to do with Hogwarts Legacy's director's cut, but that's it's probably because like they always kind of have something to do with everything, right? But I I think again to Jason Schreier's bigger point when he talked about it, I think this is the next big thing. Now you could be asking yourself because I I did see this uh this comment be brought up as well. Well, no duh, you know, like uh, developers are developing games. Like, is that a big shock to you? Well. I mean, I guess you could say a couple things to that, right? Like, number one, Suicide Squad was supposed to go on for years. Um, the ending of the game, if people aren't familiar, like, the ending of the game signals that they wanted, ideally, probably two-plus years for this game to survive, right? So, I, I get it. Like, it is, a, well, obviously, they're working on a game. But, like, Suicide Squad was supposed to be their main thing for years. Now, obviously, that, that you know, the second the game came out, like, a week or two after, uh, that was never going to be the case, right? The other thing, I guess, if you want to go more negative on Suicide Squad, is while I didn't think this was going to happen, it, you know, you got to think about it, especially with the way the industry is nowadays. I mean, the last year and a half, right, two years, we've had studios shut down. We've had, you know, half of teams just, like, gutted, you know, before our eyes. I'm not wishing that to happen. We've talked about Rocksteady specifically on this channel in videos where I think they deserve a second chance, or at least you should. I don't know if they deserve it. You should give them a second chance. Let them go back to what they are good at. Um, there were some leadership issues, I feel, with Suicide Squad, so you got to get that ironed out. You give them one more chance. I mean, look, if they fail insanely bad again, 
then I think you really have to look at it. It's like this is supposed to be one of your best teams, if not your best team. I mean, if you go back to like Arkham City, like leading into night, right? Like is Roxay the best team that WB has? Probably, you know, and then they probably was even after Arkham Knight. So you don't want them making failures. So, I mean, if, if you want to take a hard look at them after two times, right? Almost like a two strikes, you're out situation. Be my guest. But, you know, you make one game. You know, Sefton and Jamie, I think, still need to kind of answer for, like, what happened there, and that hasn't happened yet, right? But, you know, I'm willing to give them one more chance, and not just – it doesn't really matter what I say. It matters, like, what's actually happening. And, again, that goes into Jason Schreier, right? He talked about in that article that they would be given another chance. They'll probably go back to their roots. And whether that's an Arkham game or a Batman-specific game or something else, free flow, you know, et cetera, um, I think it probably is, and – you know, again, we talked about that a little bit where is that a safe option? Like, is it almost too safe for some people? Yeah, but I think, again, with the situation that just happened, right, you kind of have to go safe. I, I get it. I get not wanting to go safe, uh, you know, if you're like a, a fan, right? And you say, well, I want something, you know, outside that realm. I get that, but I don't know if this is the right time because it really probably is two strikes you're out. And if you at least let them go back to something that Rocksteady as a studio was known for, then maybe they can kind of refine or recapture that magic, right? Again, always important to remember that a lot of the people at any team that made some of your favorite games are no longer there. The team and the people that made, say, Arkham City, Arkham Asylum, the percentage of those people still at Rocksteady, I guarantee you, is like under 20%. People don't stick around, especially they don't stick around for 10, 15 years, right? They leave, and that happens all the time. So it, it might be time for people to realize that the teams that made Arkham Asylum City Night are not even there in the first place. But I, again, I think with that pedigree, like you know what they're capable of, at least Rocksteady as like a name is capable of, I think they deserve a second shot, and it seems like they're getting that second shot. With that being said, just to end this, we got years, years and years and years. They just started in June. Arkham Knight to now was nine years. It took them nine years. Now, I don't believe that. I mean, they say, and I think even Jason Trier maybe has said, yeah, when they finished Arkham Knight, they started working on Suicide Squad. I, I, I almost feel like it's, it's worse to say that out loud, right? You might as well keep that to yourself. Nine years to make this game is unacceptable. You got to have the next one out in like four or five years. So... It's going to be a while. It's going to be two, three years, I imagine, before you even see anything, and then another two or three years before we even get it. So sit back and I guess keep watching what's going on with Suicide Squad because you got nothing else coming from, from uh, Rocksteady for half a decade, if not more. But at least we know that they are making you know, a brand new game. And I'm sure you'll see their names pop up on Wonder Woman, on the director's cut of Hogwarts, on the next uh, you know, Lego game or whatever. Right? You're, you'll see their name because everybody there kind of helps out everybody. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Bell icon turned on. I hope to see you all on the next one.